wheels right now are walking tandem, so it should drive quite a bit smoother through the field and handle their bumps a little better. Um, as you can see, they moved the CCS fan up front, and by doing that, they were able to put the meters in the back. With that, they've moved the CCS tank back, and it's up higher now. So, like I say, anybody that has one of these knows how much of a headache it was to change those meters. That was one of the most dreaded jobs to do, it seemed like, on that thing. Um, so, like you say, the meters are now in the back. They utilize electric motors, so there will be four sections back there, with all with individual uh, electric motors. So that will allow uh, four section section command with this thing. Uh, with that being said, uh, previously to calibrate it, there wasn't a lot of options. Now you will be able to calibrate this just like with the air carts. You can take your weights for each individual meter and then uh, type in your calibration factors initially. And then with that, there's a new uh, mobile app that you can use. I guess we'll back up here. An option on this thing now is there are scales. And with those scales, it will allow you to perform an active calibration so that if you're playing through the field, you'll hit active calibration. And maybe we've been touched on that a little bit, but uh, like I said, I think it'll run eight to 12 acres and then it'll automatically update and make the changes needed. Um, so back to that mobile app, on that app, you can, from the back of the planner, type in all your coefficients and it'll actually upload that to the display. So that's kind of neat. Um, the way they have the, the meters positioned in that box, you are now able for clean out, you can stick a, a seat box underneath there and actually dump out the CCS tank. As you can yeah, kind of see right there, that it looks a little different there. So that'll be kind of neat. Um, another neat thing with this thing is that it will have true set. So rather than going back and turning the dial on your hydraulic pressure, you will now be able to change that from the field set hydraulics that'll be that'll be nice um, another new thing with this is going to be the new pro series row unit so they this first was on the 1895 last year i believe and now they reduced the angle of the blade and the seat boot so at higher speeds you won't have near the disturbance in the throw um, behind it they changed the press wheel it's now more narrow and flexible a little better speed soil contact there as you can see, this one has the serrated closing wheel. That was new last year, but that will be available on here as well. Um, they reduced two of the zerks. Uh, like I say, going from your daily, or what recommended daily greasing, the top two are gone, so your depth gauge will be the only grease zerk on this thing. Um, as far as the boot goes, previously, uh, they tended to get sloppy from time to time. They have change the way the pin system is up front to take out some of that play or, and reduce side to side movement. I'm trying to think what else. They updated the springs a little bit on the closing wheels. So, uh, so I guess that's the big things with this new row unit. And in addition, there is the option to put the spoke gate wheel on there as well. So, a lot of new things to do on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and play that video. We're about to set a new standard for air drills. Introducing the new N500 C Series. It leverages the best of the 1990 CCS machine it replaces and incorporates proven features from our existing air seating and planting system. One of the first things you'll notice is a redesigned tank made possible by the new mainframe now, you have much better access to the meters. We've also simplified tank cleanout, 
and you can place a probe box or conveyor under the meters. New options include larger tires and walking tandem axles for better ground following. And you have a high flotation tire option. Available in four frame sizes from 30 to 42 feet wide, the N500C is a true multi-crop dual season tool. Choose from either 7.5 and, and 15 inch or 10 and 20 inch row spacing. Now, you can hydraulically raise and lock up the front or rear rank of openers for added crop versatility. Alternating use between the two ranks of openers expands crop compatibility plus balances wear life. If you don't need two ranks and two row spacing, we also offer a single rank machine with 15 inch spacing, like this one. Compared to the 1990 CCS, the N500C gives you significantly more seat capacity and the chance to cover more acres between refills. The N500C has a 100 bushel tank on the two smaller models and 120 bushel tank on the two larger ones. Tank scales allow for in-cab weight verification. And when you're not in the cab, you can get the same information with the new Seed Plus app, which is a great benefit while filling. The app also allows for you to conveniently calibrate the meters and tank scales. The N500C delivers improved seed population accuracy that leads to greater yield potential. This is possible because of its electric drives with volumetric metering, which enables variable rate and prescription seeding. Currently, John Deere is the only manufacturer offering this solution on a CCS air drill. In addition to population accuracy, seed placement is just as important for producing even emergence. That's why the N500C is equipped with Pro Series openers that were introduced last year on the 1895 air grid. Designed with the narrow seed boot for less soil throw, the opener improves consistent seed depth by up to 40% compared to the previous design. A narrow and flexible press wheel, followed by the optional Sarah Ready closing wheel, offers improved seam to soil contact to ensure even emergence. You also get improved service life from the press wheel bearing and other extended life components such as the seed tab. When it comes to maintenance, new sealed pushings eliminate two research per opener. As a result, Pro Series openers require less time, effort, and expense. To give you more capabilities in one machine, we've leveraged proven technologies. And it all starts in the cab with the Gen 4 4640 Universal Display or 4600 Command Center, which puts you in control of settings and adjustments with easy to navigate menus. An important feature for accurate seed depth is the ability to quickly change opener downforce. TrueSet Control offers convenient automatic adjustments right from the cab when seeding into variable soils and conditions. To stay more accurate throughout the day, you'll appreciate active cal automated calibration. This convenient feature makes calibrating much easier and faster. That means you're more likely to perform a calibration every time you change crops, as you should, giving you all the benefits of improved accuracy all day long. To give you more confidence in a consistent seeding rate, we have our exclusive relative flow blockage monitoring system. It displays seed delivery and alerts you when your preset limits are out of range. You can set alarms based on your preferences to address any concerns before it can reduce your yield potential. You can also prevent wasted inputs by shutting off sections at headlands and waterways, thanks to section command. It allows control across all four sections independently for potential seed savings. The N500C incorporates proven features from our extensive planting and air seeding lineup into a single <laughs> hybrid tool. It's sure it's set a new standard for air drills. All right, I apologize. I don't have his presenting finesse there, but it does a pretty good job of kind of showing what that thing has to offer.
like I say, it shows in the video, I forgot to mention, but it does have 30, 36, 40, and 42 working with us, seven and a half and 10, and then obviously there's the single rank, 15 inch spacing. The 30 and 36 will have the 100 foot, or the 100 foot, 100 bushel box, and the larger two will have the 120. So, any questions on that thing? Okay. Um, over here on the left, we have section control. Uh, section Command booth. Uh, there's a few guys around here running this. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but if you get a chance, come over here and take a look at this thing. Uh, basically, it has its own metering system that uh, takes place of the previous hydraulic meters. But with this, we have the ability to shut this thing down into eight sections, going in and out of headlands. Uh, I think they claim roughly 4% savings across the fertilizer and seed. But uh, basically, each individual section has its own hydraulic actuator that will close that gate to shut it on and off. Uh, in the event that something would go wrong, there is a spring in there, so the default setting will always be open. Um, like you said, I know there's a couple guys that aren't going to run these, but it, like I say, it's a pretty good presentation here to familiarize yourself with this. Any questions on section command? Okay. I guess next we will take a look here at the updated 5E row units. This one. <coughs> Not working. Can everybody hear me okay? So uh, this one here is the uh, exact excuse me. Some of the improvements that they've made to this thing, uh, the mini hopper. So we're gonna start up front here. Uh, available on 2015 and newer, they had the pneumatic trash flips that comes in a trash flip or a Coulter combo. There are two bags, up and down pressure, that will help uh, maintain float and down pressure. Um, that thing is set up on three different sections. The center section and the two wings so you have the ability to maybe apply more down pressure behind the tractor with the tires. Um, that's all adjusted through the cab on your screen. Uh, moving back, this one does not display it, but there is the pneumatic closing wheels now. Um, there are 25 presets on that thing, and you have the ability to add 70 pounds of additional downforce as what the previous springs did. Coming up here, this system is set up with the pneumatic downforce. They still have the springs, uh, the pneumatic, active pneumatic, and now there is the hydraulic downforce. Um, each individual row has its own uh, accumulator and cylinder, but like I say, the neat thing about that is it will react 58% faster than the previous active pneumatic would. So, um, I guess moving back, like I said, the N5E, uh, neat things about them you don't have you're still utilizing the same seed boot and furrow placement however to replace the hydraulic drive or the ground drive there is now a 56 volt electric motor with that motor we have the ability to shut down row command in each individual row separately and then I believe maybe you mentioned it earlier but going through curves there's curve compensation so as you go into a corner, it's obviously going to speed up on the outside, slow down, and maintain that desired uh, seat spacing. This row unit here is the exact emerge. So in addition to the, the one electric motor, there's a second that drives the delivery brush. And with that, as you speed up, slow down, that, that brush will maintain that seat spacing. So the neat thing about this, if you guys aren't familiar, it is rated up to 10 mile an hour. They claim some guys were going 13, but uh, as far as deer.
here who says it's demonic. Uh, any questions on that? Okay. Uh, as far as the newer planners go, there's a few new options with that thing that's kind of neat. One of them being uh, wing weight distribution. That's on 24 rows and bigger. Uh, it does have a regulator back on the tank that you have to do manually, but basically it's two hydraulic cylinders that try to transfer the weight from your CCS tanks out to the wings. Um, there's also easy fold now, so rather than having that junction box on the cab to control your wings and so on and so forth, it is basically automated through the Gen 4 display, one button, and it'll fold and unfold that thing. Dave was mentioning uh, as far as trash or trash wheels. Closing wheels, we have lots of options, whether it be Yetter, Martin, a lot of them things. If you guys are interested in a different option, we do carry those two parts. Now, like I say, there's a lot of options there. Everybody has their own opinion as to what is correct, but like I say, keep us in mind if there is something that you want to swap out, we carry quite a few of those. So, um, I guess, like I say, if you guys think of any questions, let me know. Um, one thing I did want to mention, we sold a lot of planters here lately. Uh, wish we had a few more. In a couple cases, we went out and did some swapping with other dealers, like I say. So if, whether it be planning or any other equipment for that matter, uh, don't hesitate. If there's something you're looking for that we don't have, let us know. We'd be happy to go out there and see if we can get our hands on something like that for you. So um, one other thing I wanted to mention on, uh, I know it's kind of a weird time of the year, but if you did see something here, the new stuff that interests you and you would be interested in, purchasing a new piece come June 1 that is the first phase of early order that's where you will have the opportunity for your biggest savings you know depending on the configuration in some cases you could see up to twenty thousand dollars savings so like I say kind of a weird time but that way we can get it and you'll have it here for next year so it's something to keep in mind any other questions So in addition to attending today, um, what we are going to hand out here to everybody is a $500 basically credit towards a new receiver or display. Uh, in order to receive that uh, coupon, we would like to partner up with you through Operations Center. So whether you already are uploading those acres, come and talk to one of us. And if you are interested in partnering with us and uploading acres to the Operations Center, you will qualify for the five hundred dollar credit. So, any questions on that? Okay. Again, we appreciate you guys coming out. I think we're going to hand it over to service, and they're going to cover the row units.